Hello everyone! Today, I'm going to teach you how to draft an A9 dress pattern for girls ages 5 to 6 years old. Let's go! So, to draft the pattern, these are the things needed. So, we have the pattern paper, tape measure, marking pen, ruler, French curve and hip curve. These are the measurements needed in drafting a line dress for girls ages 5 to 6 years old. So we have the neck depth 3 inches, the neck width 2.5 inches, shoulder 12 inches divided by 2 equals 6 inches. Bust, 23 inches divided by 4 equals 5 and 3 fourths plus 1 inch equals 6 and 3 fourths. And last, we have the dress length which is 25 inches. So, to start drafting this pattern, you need to draw a perpendicular line. And mark the corner A as the starting point. From A, measure 3 inches for the neck depth. So that is point B. A to C is 6 inches. Usually, the bust line is half of the shoulder. Then, from point A to get point B, use the dress length. Example, dress length is 25 inches. So, this is point B. Square out point B, point C, and point D to the right using ruler. From point A to get point E, use the neck width, which is two and a half inches. Since you are going to draw an A-line dress that has no sleeve, you need to move one fourth inch to make it two and three fourths. So that is point. And from point A to point F, use one half shoulder. Shoulder is 12 inches divided by 2, so that is 6 inches. Since you add one fourth here on the neckline, you need to add also one fourth inch on point F. Then project point E downward up to line B. Also project point F downward up to line C. From point F to get point G, measure one half inch. So that is point G. Then connect E to G with a diagonal line. 
then shape the neckline using French curve. So this is point H. Then to get point I, use one fourth bus. So bus is twenty three divided by four. So that is five and three fourths plus one inch. So that is six and three fourths. Then so this is point I. To locate point J, get the center of point G and So that is five and a half. You just fold your tape measure into two to locate the center. So that is point J. And then J to K, one half inch to the left. Then draw a horizontal. Then shape the armhole passing point. So this is point K. So shape the armhole passing point G, K, and I using French curve. Then point L square down point I. Up to point or up to line D. So this is point L. Then from L to get point M to the right, measure two and a half inches. So this is point M. Then connect point I to M with a diagonal. Measure one half inch upward. So this is point N. Using hip curve, shape the hemline. So our front pattern for a line dress is already done. So this is front. In order to drop the back pattern, we need to use the front pattern. So again, let's start with letter A is the starting point. So from point A, to get point 1, use one and a half inches for the back neck depth. So this is point 1. Then square out point one. Then shape the back neckline using French curve. Then the shoulder is the same. And then the armhole, since this is back. So we have to shape 
the arm hold from point G, passing point G, J, and I because the front is deeper than the back. So this is the back arm hold. Then the sides up to the hemline are the same. So you just trace. So let us trace the back, back part. So again, use another sheet of cotton paper and then use the carbon paper to transfer all the markings. First, place the back neckline and then the shoulder. Next, the arm hole. And then the sides. And the center box, up to point one. So this is the back pattern. This is our So let us make a final pattern. So to make a final pattern, we have to put seam allowances. So for the Front neckline, use 3 eighths inch. Then for the shoulder, since you are going to stitch it using front seam, 
use 5 eighths inch. For the armhole, three eighths. For the sides, five eighths. For the hemline, one inch. So the center front is a center hole, or it has hole, so there is no cut. This is the final pattern of the For the back pattern, the same seam allowances are used. So for the neckline, For the shoulders, shoulder, 5 eighths. Then for the armhole, 3 eighths. Then for the side, Five eighths. Then for the hand line, we use one. For the back pattern, it also has a center fold, meaning there is no cut. And then we also put the grains of the fabric crosswise and the lengthwise. So this is the final pattern of the back. So the final pattern is ready for cutting. So let us first cut the front pattern. So you just follow the seam
Okay, this is the final pattern of an A-line dress for young girls ages 5 to 6 years old. To drop a pocket, get a piece of paper and then make a center fold. Draw a horizontal line. Then from this horizontal line, measure 4 inches downward. Connect. So this is point A, point B. From point A, measure two and a half inches to get point C. Then from point B to get to get point D measure two inches. Connect C to D with a diagonal line. And then shape the lower part of the pocket to make it look creative and beautiful. Then to make it final, on top of the pocket or the pocket opening, measure one and one fourth inch for the seam allowance. Then for the side, the seam allowance is one half. Then cut the final pattern of the pocket. This is now the pocket. So to transfer all the markings on the other side, get a carbon paper and then again fold it into two. Then trace all the So, this is what it looks like. Patch. So, this is patch pocket.